Good Saturday morning and welcome to another edition of the award-winning Outdoors with Larry Ray on 790 The Bet. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency and Wally Hatchett's Comfort Food and Drinks at 6439 Summer Avenue. Now here's your host, Larry Ray. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome to Outdoors with Larry Ray as we talk outdoors every Saturday here on AM 790 in Memphis. And, of course, uh, good morning to all you good folks in Brownsville, Tennessee on 95.3 FM and 1520 AM. And, of course, in uh, in Jackson, Tennessee on News Talk 101.5. And this is a uh, regular Wong time. Uh, so it's R.W., uh, not B.W., it's Bonus Wong. This is R.W. Good morning, Ron Wong. Hey, good morning, Larry. Good morning, everybody. Uh, Funny. Uh, and welcome to Outdoors with Larry Ray this morning. And I got to tell you, I'm, you know, I don't get excited too much in the mornings because I'm not a morning person. <laughs> he is not a morning person. But I got to tell you something. He I'm is. really excited about today's show. Well, why is that, Ron? I mean, well, we're going to be talking a lot about fishing we are gonna toss we're gonna and and then one of my favorite things you know you know i love community service larry yes you do and there's an event that's coming up very soon yep and we're gonna have our buddy uh frank barton talk about it and that's a physical uh physically challenged deer hunt at arkabutta lake at dub Patton uh campsite there campgrounds there and which I've been there, Larry. Uh, I know you, you know have. all about it, and I'm going to try to get out there one of the weekends. I'm not. Well, I know it's got to be the first second. one because the second one, yeah. I'll be at the uh, AutoZone Liberty Bowl All Star Football Game. Taking at pictures. MUS taking pictures. All right. Um, well, that. Uh, uh, well, we're going to talk a lot about Real Foot Lake today, but I wanted to squeeze in that uh, about the uh, 32nd annual. Arkabuck Lake Physically Challenged Deer Hunt because it is such a amazing event. It and is. I've participated. Ron's been down there. Frank Barton will be on with us to talk about that. But uh, that's coming up next weekend and the weekend after that. But we're going to devote a lot of today's show uh, as kind of a wrap-up of the Tennessee Outdoor Writers Conference, uh, Association Conference that was held at Blue Bank Resort on Real Foot Lake. Uh, uh, in no, earlier in November, and we had a chance to uh, meet some really quality people uh, that uh, locally there, not only uh, from the resort, but Ron set up some great fishing trips for us, and we're going to talk to uh, three of the uh, the folks that uh, took some of us out to fishing. That's uh, that is of course Kyle Homer, uh, Chase Petty, and Duke Montgomery, and then we're also going to talk to Mike Michael. Hayes' brother, Drew. I get that kind of confused That's, sometimes. There you go. Because there's a Hayes family at Blue Bank Resort, and we're going to talk to Drew Hayes uh, about the resort and what's going on up there. But, Ron, I know a lot of folks, uh, uh, I've been deer hunting. I have not killed one yet. I'm going back Monday. Mm-hmm. My buddy Steve McPherson has got a nice doe. I understand my good friend at, uh, Dave Payne at Dave's Deer Processing out there in Galloway right across down the road from Slingshot Charlie's Restaurant. He's been slammed. I know he had to close one day. You better call him before you even go because uh, so many deer, uh, and my good friend Rodney Owen has killed some nice deer. I'm seeing some nice deer, and I'm getting nice reports, but uh, this is duck weekend for a lot of folks also uh, going on. Uh, It's just uh, uh, everything's happening, but fishing-wise, and this is what Ron's forte is, <laughs> is we uh, end up in November on this Thanksgiving weekend. We hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving uh, on Thursday and uh, uh, just look for this uh, wonderful weekend, safe travels. And we have so much to be thankful for. I know I do. Absolutely. Uh, particularly this uh, after what I've been through and uh, everything. This is a special Thanksgiving for me. Uh, I've got a new daughter-in-law uh, to celebrate uh, this weekend after yeah. my son got married back in September, uh, the Legends of the Outdoors Hall of Fame, uh, eight months of cancer treatment, so much. But you know, Ron, a lot of things don't change, and, and that's your knowledge of fishing. Buddy, well, I know uh, uh, I asked people, I've had people actually ask me, is he reading off that? 
and I'm, I, I, he is not reading <laughs> off of anything, folks. I mean, he's uh, if you anybody know. knows. So we've had cold weather. Now then we get a couple of days of warm weather. Now we got a little rain. It's back to normal temperatures. What in the world is happening fishing wise? Well, now? that's a good question, Larry. Um, you, you know, uh, we, it was really cold, barely getting above freezing there for several days. Yes. And now yeah. it's warmed up. Uh, we've got a bunch of warm rain. But more importantly what? is to watch the t- uh, nighttime temperatures. That's what affects, nighttime. Your, okay. that's what affects your uh, surface temperature more than anything else. Okay. And right now in most of our area lakes, uh, the temperature is going to range anywhere from 53 degrees to 56 degrees maybe 57 on the northeast corner of a lake. Um, and so that means the fish are still active. Okay. Uh, and, you know, i got to tell you something. Uh, uh, this past week I had an opportunity to, to chase some bass, uh-huh. uh, and you're not going to believe this, Larry. What? Uh, I did not catch any fish under the surface. They were all on topwater baits. Really? They're, Okay. Uh, I was using a Strike King uh, hack attack buzz bait hack attack. And with, a, with a trailer hook. Yeah. And my friend and I, we could, that's the only bait we could catch them on. Really? But okay. we caught six bass between four to seven pounds. Six before? Uh, and and yeah. the water temperature was 54 degrees. Well, I want to ask you, hold on just now, hold on that thought just a second, because we had highs in the 40s for about a week. Yeah. And uh, normally, that's our lows at this time of the year. That's right. So what is, I mean, undoubtedly, the, the topwater lure, that just sounds. Uh, you that, know, typically, uh, if your water temperature, surface temperature, uh-huh. is 50 degrees or above, yeah, you can catch fish on top. Okay. As okay. long as what there is bait fish around. Ah, uh, Forage. Okay. That's the yeah. whole secret. Yeah. If you find the forage, you find the fish. And talking about that, the crappie fishermen right now, especially at Sardis Lake, I've seen them. Uh, yeah. They are catching some really, really good Aren't fish. They, though? Yeah. In the going back to midway in the creeks that have any water left. Okay. Clear Creek is a good example. Um, know that or area. Thompson Creek. Yeah. On Sardis, uh, using a spider rig, fishing over 10, 12 feet of water. Okay. Three to five feet, six feet deep with a Caps and Coleman double mineral rig. There it is, Caps and, and Coleman. Uh, okay. And they're catching some really, really nice slabs. They're also catching some along the face of the dam there at Enid and Sardis doing the same thing and moving about 0.6 to 0.9 <laughs> miles per hour. 0.6 to 9. Can you be more Pacific, Ron, please? A 0.6 well, <laughs> to 0.9 miles an hour. I mean, you know, uh, when uh, can you get a little bit closer to that? Okay. When you're drifting, <laughs> you know, you got to have to watch out for that. Because of the cooler water, yeah. the fish don't move quite as fast. But we're not at that stage yet. Okay, not yet. Well, we're just we're, in, we're not in December yet. We're getting close. Yeah. So, you know. But yeah. the water temperature is still, you know, 53 to 56 degrees surface temperature. Okay. Uh, three right. three to five feet down, it's going to be a couple of degrees warmer. What about so Arca Butler? I've had some people Arca ask Butler, about Arca uh, Butler, they are catching them at the mouth of a Hurricane Creek. Okay. Or, yeah. um, Been there. Yeah. And, and, or the mouth of Cane Creek or along the sand banks <laughs> near Hernando Landing. All right. Uh, I've Hernando, been there. Uh, and... Uh, the best way to catch those fish right now are also with a double mineral rig. Okay, the double uh, mineral. About five feet deep is your going to be your deepest. Um, uh, you, the minnow usually there's two of you. What two size that minnow? You have. What, what kind of medium minnow? sized minnow? Medium, okay. Because that's the size of the shad that you have here. That's what I was fishing thinking, yeah. over seven to nine, ten feet deep. Okay. Uh, there's not much deep water left in Arca Butler. No, uh, other than around Bayou Point. There's so much uh, opportunities, folks. I know we're we're getting the days are getting shorter. Uh, uh, we'll get down to that uh, first day of winter. I mean, uh, sunrise now is almost a quarter to seven. Yeah, uh, that is helping some Sunset of us deer hunters. Sunset is yeah is four fifty. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, we have to uh, us deer hunters. If we leave at four o'clock, 
you know, we're getting the stand. It's still dark a lot now, but uh, uh, watch that uh, sunrise and sunset type. Uh, I always check that. I like to know when it's going to be, but I know when we get yeah. to that. Uh, you know what? That's that's a, that, it's a good thing that you talk about that, Larry, because, you know, if you're a duck hunter, Yes. Yeah. When can you start shooting? Yeah, you need to know that. Okay, that's <laughs> yeah. why. Yeah. That's absolutely right. Yes. To talk about that, Larry, because a lot of people don't know. Uh, I've know. heard them shoot too early. When I've been in the deer stand, and I can hear them in the hatchy bottoms. I say, oh, oh, that's a little early to be shooting at those ducks that, that, down there. That's exactly because right. That, that sound echoes. Loud. Yeah. Yeah, that sound echoes, and uh, I'm sure the game wardens hear that, too, <laughs> at the same time. But uh, appreciate you, Ron. Uh uh, being with us this morning, and uh, Bill Cooksey, we, he was out and about, and we'll get Bill on the next time. But uh, we're gonna, I can't wait to s- talk to all of our wonderful guests that yeah, we have yeah. today. We're going to start. Let me reel them off real quickly before we take this first break of the morning. We're going to come. Frank Barton's going to talk about that Dark Butler Lake physically challenged deer hunt, and then get ready, folks. We're going to talk real foot. Get ready. I'm not even going to tell you who it is because you're going to want to stick around right to the very end because we got the Duke on the end. Okay? You, you always end up yep. with the Duke. Yep. Right? Anyway. Absolutely. All right, let's take our first break in the morning on Outdoors of Larry Ray. We'll be right back. 